growth have you seen from Jackson and Melanie since the spring? Yeah, I think just uh, more than anything, obviously reps and stuff like that are going to make you a better player. But I think more than anything is, is uh, and probably a lot of it has to be comfortable with the guys, but, but um, the command they have when they're on the field, and not necessarily just understanding the offense, but uh, being able to, you know, control the, control the unit. And, and, you know, if they need to get on a guy or get a guy in the right position, they feel much more comfortable doing it and look a lot better doing it. So, um, again, that kind of comes with the reps, but it also comes with getting to know the guys and working hard and earning some earning respect to the guys uh, and being a leader. So I think they've grown to that as much as anything. We saw, we saw Coralyn, the first team left tackle yesterday, and then Jonah seemed to slide in there today. How have you seen their progression just over the course of this offseason? What do you still need to see from them? Like, uh, you know, those two are really – those two are really good players, and so uh, we're excited about what they're going to do. You know, I think all camp, our, our job is to try to find the best five and figure out what the, you know, the combination of the best five, where, where they fit in. And so um, I think that that's our goal at that position is, is mix up the mix up the lineups, figure out what five are the best five to play together, and, and let them roll. In particular, Miller just looks like he's so much more comfortable and confident. What did you feel kind of challenge him for in the spring to work on the biggest thing? Uh, you know, I think coming out of spring, the thing that, you know, I, th I think that they both did a really good job. But, you know, with, with Miller, I thought the thing he could improve on the most was just not force him to the check down and go out there. And, and when you have it, take your shots. And, and uh, he's done a good job of trying that. You know what I mean? And, and you know, we want to throw completion. We want to take care of the football. But at the same time, we don't want to be over conservative. And uh, so that's something we talked about with him. And he's done a good job of taking that taking that coaching and, and, and doing it, you know. And so uh, that's been good to see. And, and when you got three good quarterbacks, it, it <laughs> makes practice a little easier. So and a lot more fun. So, so they're doing a good job. Jonah seemed to really take a step forward. Jonah Mott, I seem to take a step forward in the spring. Where in particular have you seen him uh, take the biggest steps? I think in confidence more than anything. And a lot of it has to do with um, knowing the offense, being comfortable with the offense, knowing his assignment, and, and knowing he belongs. And, and uh, when that's the case, you play with a lot of confidence, and I think that's what he's done. And, and every time he's out there, he just continues to play at a high level. And when you do that, like I said, you just keep growing and growing and growing in confidence. And, and if you're confident, you're going to be a pretty good player. And I think that that's at any position, quarterback, O-line, it doesn't matter where you are. If, if you believe you belong and you're playing with a lot of confidence, you'll do a good things, and that's what he's doing right now. What are your expectations for Keaton this year? You know, I think the expectations for Keaton are always going to be high. And I think in quarterback and, and what we do, uh, we put extremely high expectations on him. And there's a lot of responsibility on him, but that just comes, comes with the job. And he's no different. And, and, and you know, him being in his third year, uh, he, he should be really, really good. He's got a lot of reps, you know, and, and being able to play as a true freshman. So he got a ton of reps that year. And, and then the amount of reps he's we've been able to accumulate over the years, um, you know, there's no reason for him not to play at a really, really high level. And so uh, we hold him to a high standard. I hold him to a high standard. Our expectations for him are high. His expectations for himself are high. And we're not going to come off of that. Kyle Ford's gotten almost forgotten the last two years. He's looking at here so far. What do you expect from him? And where is he getting blessed? I know in the past he was an inside guy, but we've seen him outside as well. Yeah, kind of like at the O-line position, we're doing the same thing with receivers. It's just kind of figuring out um, – who fits where the best, you know what I mean? And who gives us the best chance to be successful. So we've moved him around. Uh, I think that with him, you know, being, being out as long as he's been out, just getting reps everywhere is important for him, you know? And, and uh, the good thing is over the last couple of years, he has been around, he has been in meetings. So he has a, so he has a familiarity with the offense. And so, um, and that's a luxury to have guys that they kind of can under, understand all the positions. And so we're able to move him around and get him a lot of reps and just see where he fits in best and see where we need him the most, you know? And I think that, like I said, kind of at the old line position, we got to figure out who's best where and, and when that's the case. And, and when we figure that out, get him kind of in that position for good and, and go roll. And so that's the goal. Like I said, he's got to play a lot of positions because he's got a lot of reps and he's doing some good things. And so hopefully he continues to get better and grow as the camp goes. Tosh has a, you know, I think that what he does best is he just plays fast all the time, you know, and and, uh, and you would think that's pretty easy, but I think that's, you know, not, not a lot of people can do that, just always playing fast. And, and a lot of it has to do with he never hesitates, you know. I mean, if he makes a mistake, he makes it full speed, and, and everything he does is full speed. He's naturally a pretty fast guy. Um, he can run forever, and so 
he just always plays fast. And when you do that, he give you give yourself a chance to be successful. And you know, he caught a couple balls today. He's got some good lateral twitch and, and uh, makes some guys miss. And he has a chance to be really explosive. And so um, that's always a good dynamic to have. And, and you know, right now he's predominantly been outside, but he's a guy again that as he learns the offense, hopefully we can move him around and see where he gives us uh, where he's the you know where he's the most dangerous. And when we find that, uh, let him loose. Clay was talking a little bit yesterday about the sort of the different kinds of pass catchers or even just the running backs being able to catch out of a two-back formation. How different do you feel like just the personnel is and how much does that kind of open up maybe versatility with guys like that Malcolm Mack, Caps, and like other guys like that? Yeah, we got a lot of new faces out there. <laughs> right? And a lot of talented new faces, you know what I mean? And that's a good problem to have. And, and you know, the, the – uh, the running back rooms kind of had a had a uh, I don't know it, it's transformed quite a bit since last fall and uh, like you said we got Elps out there you know with Trey coming in you know we got some different bodies um, it makes it fun and you get creative with what you do with them and so uh, you know I think the biggest problem is is figuring out how to use them all but that's a good problem to have because we have a lot of talent out there a lot of guys that need touches um, the guys that we've had here for a few years and then you know kind of the new toys so um, like I said it, it, it gives you diversity I think it allows you to get creative early on you have to like make sure they know it and, and kind of get them in position and but kind of like what we're talking with Kyle once you kind of learn the offense and figure out the whole scheme, you can really move them around and get creative with these with, with the new guys you got, and uh, and they all bring something different, you know. And so um, again, I think it could put it could put people in binds because you got to figure out ways to match up with them. You got to figure out how you're gonna match them personnel wise when who's in the game, and 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 hopefully we can and take advantage of where we think the best matchup for. Which of the other summer rivals has impressed you the most? They've all been good. I mean, it's crazy, but. Um, you know, since last fall, I think the, the room that's changed the most is probably that running back room. And, and uh, the crazy thing is there's just a lot of a lot of really talented ones, you know. And, and Vi, he's been really good since we've been here from day one. And so, and still, he just does everything right. And if you watch him, he has a lot of good runs in practice because he, he's always in the right spot and always sees it and always hits it. Um, but, but a lot of those, you know, with uh, Key and Darwin, and uh, BC all doing some really good things. They had good springs, uh, or, you know, 20, uh, Darwin wasn't here, but, but the other two had really good springs, and then Darwin comes in in two days, looks like he's been here for three years, you know, and so that's a good problem to have. And then uh, Keenan's back, and so, you know, he pops some, and, and his speed can, can give you problems. So that room has, uh, has kind of transformed but they've also, you know, competition makes everyone better. I think they're all playing at a really high level because the other guys around them are playing at a really high level. So that makes it fun. They're fun to, they're fun to coach. They love competing. And uh, they're going to be guys that need to get a lot of touches because, like I said, they're just talented players.